This is a quick video to demonstrate creating and testing a WCF service and a client in Visual Studio. I'm going to start in Visual Studio with my service. I'm going to go to File, New Project. In the WCF group under Visual Basic, I'm going to add a WCF service application. You could give it a more descriptive name if you want to. But by doing this, uh, Visual Studio creates everything you need for, for a fully functioning service that you can test right away. Here are the methods that are going to be available to my clients. So I'm going to run this service, same way I run any other kind of project, and a window opens that shows the methods or the functions that are available to my clients. And it's also going to give me the address where this service is located um, for my particular instance of Internet Information Server that ran with Visual Studio. Now I'm leaving that service running and opening up a new instance of Visual Studio. So I've got two Visual Studio windows going and this is going to be my client application. Uh, this could be a forms application or a web application. Uh, I'm going to make a simple uh, forms application with a label, a button, and a text box. And this video is not going into the details of how the clients and the services work. You're going to have to read about that somewhere else, but it is going to show you how to quickly do these. Um, the important thing in the client is to go to Project Add Service Reference and paste in the address of that service. In this instance, I'm doing my own service that's running on this computer, so I'm copying that address, going back into my client program and pasting it. And when I say OK, it's going to show me the, uh, the new information is going to be added to the service reference uh, folder in the Solution Explorer. When you double click that service reference that got created, again you could give that a more descriptive name if you if you wanted to, that's what you should do in a real program, but for this demonstration this can be a real quick one. When you double click that service reference the object browser is going to open and you can navigate to the client or the, the service and see the um, methods are available. It's real important to pay attention to the data type wanted as an argument and the data type being received, uh, being returned from the, from the function. Now to use this client, I'm going to create an instance of it with this syntax. IntelliSense should help you out. I'm using the information from the object browser and then I'm just going to uh, fill my label with a result of a call to that function um, sending the argument of what was in my text box. This is just like calling any other function. Uh, the key difference is that this function exists in another project um, that I'm connecting to with the web service and I know that this function wants an integer as an argument, so I'm going to convert that to an integer. Again, real quick and dirty, just to see if it works. Uh, making sure that my service is still running. Now I'm running my client. I'm going to pass in an integer, and I do get a result from the service. Now you, this is just the test uh, data that was already in the default service. I'm going to try adding a custom function here and try to call it with my client. So I'm just going to use the exact same syntax as any other function. Uh, this one is going to be to say hello. I'm going to accept a string argument and call it name. And I'm going to return a string from this function that just concatenates the word hello to the name that is passed in. And we got no squiggly underlines, so this could be good. I'm going to save it and run it. And in that window that shows up, ideally I will see that new function that I just wrote as a contract 
service, as something that the service promises it can do. And you see it's not listed. I only see those other two. So I got to go back to this service and look more closely. What's missing? All right, here's some syntax in an existing function that works. So let me copy and paste that down here. And I click off of that line. I do get a squiggly. So I'm going to read about the error and have it auto fix and take a look at that file that it says that it modified. Again, a little bit of syntax that's different between the two ones that I know work and the one that I just added. So I'm going to copy and paste that line of code in here and make sure to save the project and go back to the service file when I run the project. That window that I've seen before opens up and hopefully now I see that new function that I've added and I do and I can leave this project running, go back into my client and try to call the new method that I made but I don't see it in IntelliSense and the reason is the client gets an update of the methods that are available to it when the service reference is added or updated. So I'm going to update the service reference it's going to go back out to the service, see what new methods are available, and now I see it in IntelliSense. And I'm just going to pass in what was in my text box and see if it works. Now uh, keep in mind that the your instance of Internet Information Server that runs uh, when you run a project that port number could change and if it ever does you'll need to modify the app config file in the client. Check this line here to make sure that address is the same for what your server is using.